Hi guys, welcome back to Irish Footy Vlogs. Welcome back to another match day vlog. It feels like we just did one yesterday, doesn't it, Billy? But actually, we did one on Friday. That was drawn uh, at loan. Check that one out in the FAI Cup. St. Patrick's Leg and Water for today, uh, Richmond Park. Uh, really, really interesting game, I think. This, uh, no shock so far in the Cup. Um, you know, th this one, I tell you, Waterford, um, like they've had a week to prepare. They're one of the three teams in the first division that I think on their day are capable of getting results in a match like this, along with Cork and Galway. Pats obviously had that brilliant win in Europe on uh, Thursday. And it was a little bit overshadowed actually by Sly on Motherwell because of the Scottish-Irish nature. But I actually think more are a better side than Motherwell. Um, but Pats went all the way to extra time and serious heat in that game. And uh, obviously the travel back um, it doesn't give you much time to think about Waterford. Um, so there is a banana skin slip up there, uh, certainly potentially. How many changes would Pats make? How many changes should they make is another question. That's up obviously to the management, etc. And, um, you know, the guys who uh, condition the team and all that kind of thing. But will be interesting to see. Um... I was going to say something else about it, but I'll go on to Billy and ask him for his prediction first, because Billy has got seven out of the last eight. No, eight of the last nine, right? And some of them spot on, so go for it. I think Pats are going to win on penalties. Oh, not another penalty shootout. Really? One-one. Okay, one-one. Ooh. Waterford, of course, lost key and Kavanagh during the week, and uh, it looks like they're just about to sell the club as well, guys. To be honest, which again, which is interesting. I wonder what kind of uh, how many fans they'll bring to this game. Be interesting to see. The very good record of Richmond Park as well in recent years. A better record than Pats have when they play each other. So that's going to be interesting as well. Um, looking forward to it. Be interesting to see how Pats play um, and how they set up. To be honest with you as well. So really looking forward to that, guys. The Premier League in England is just around the corner. So. Um, the attendances in the League of Ireland have been absolutely brilliant this year. So um, I just ask people to basically keep that up. Uh, don't let the Premier League stop you going to going to games. Uh, you can still do both as such. Like, you know, watch your Premier League and TV and go to your games or whatever. But uh, we'll see you in there.
Sunday's your favourite pass player, is that right? Ah, oh, brilliant stuff. What do you think of the game so far? Oh yeah? The penalty was good, but yeah. Hopefully we can get back in the game in the second half. Yeah, a few sloppy goals conceded there, didn't we? Yeah. Well, hopefully we get a few goals in the second half and win seven trees, isn't that right? Seven trees, yeah. It's like a rugby score. Brilliant, cheers man. Yeah. The cop parts at the right time though. That was a bit of a turn up for the books uh, for some people, not for me if I'm honest. That right, Philly, to be fair. <laughs> you did say this could happen. Uh, finished in part today, two Waterford FC, three at Richmond Park in the Cup, and the holders, champions, whatever you want to call them, they were out in the first round as such. Um, bizarre first half. I was trying to collect my thoughts there and try and get things in. 3 2 half time, by the way. Uh, which is just incredible. Uh, unfortunately, I missed the junior goal, the third goal for Waterford, which annoyed me in the vlog. I thought it was recording. It fucking wasn't recording. So sorry, Waterford fans, for that. I've seen it, though. Very good finish from junior, to be fair. Turned out to be the winner. Uh, Pat started okay, actually. Uh, and went in front through Coughlin's penalty, which was a carbon copy of the penalty against Mora. I'm not sure if it was a foul, I'll be honest. But Pat did go 1-0 up. Um, and then Waterford went 2-1 up. Uh, Wazim... Got the two goals, didn't he? And, uh, you know, Pats defensively. Um, yeah, that's all you can say for those two goals, to be fair. Um, the second one was a complete gift. Um, 
And that was, what score was that then? <laughs> he said 2-1. Uh, Pat's equalised then. Timmermans did send in a, a nice free kick, to be fair. And Gravosti gets on it and uh, makes it 2-2. And right before half time, Junior gets that goal. And that was the end of the scoring. Um, from Pat's point of view, I was pretty concerned coming into the game because I watched Shamrock Rovers live uh, over in Tyler Stadium and Stratton the other week. And Rovers were very, very flat. The flattest I've seen them in a long time. We're lucky to get a draw ultimately against Stratton. They travelled back from a big European game away from home and I thought this could be an issue for Pats and it proved to be the case, if I'm honest, which are very flat physically, mentally, I think. And it's a worry for them because they go to Sofia next week and then they come back and play Shelburne, which is a big game on Sunday and performance like that won't be anywhere near good enough to get anything from that game. From Waterford's point of view, great result from them and, you know, there's obviously a lot of negativity around Waterford, isn't it? So they'd be delighted to to get the win and uh, they were more up for it as well, their players, let's be honest. And uh, I think they deserve to win. Pass it and do enough in the second half. A lot of the ball, I don't think they penetrated enough. I don't think they did enough in the second half to deserve anything. There were a few little chances, as you'd expect, the home team, 3-2 down. But I don't think they deserved it. And uh, Waterford go marching on. Uh, Billy, overall thoughts? Um, I, thought, um, I thought it was pretty even, actually, in the first 25 minutes, I thought. Mm. Um, because there's just goal after goal. And I was like, in the first half, when I was mm. half time, I was like, surely there's not going to be any more goals now. Mm. <laughs> because five goals in the first half, that doesn't happen every game. Yeah, Patson may change the half time, and Barris and Serge came off, uh, deservedly so, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> And they went back to a back four. But um, yeah, it's a worry for them going forward in terms of uh, league games and other games like that. And obviously you have the cup now as well because, you know, Europe, it, it is tough. If you have a big game, they'd have an energy sapping game in Mora away from home, went to extra time and they travel back. Uh, something similar will happen in Bulgaria next week. But uh, we leave it there, guys. If you enjoyed the vlog, please like the video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel. And what else? Don't forget to put your notification bell so I don't miss a video. Brilliant. See you later, guys. Thank you.